I am a full stack web developer turned technical trainer who has a decade of experience working with prestigious organizations throughout the world, including Credit Suisse, Verizon, BBC and Accenture, to mention a few. In my professional career, I have delivered presentations and workshops all over the world to a mix of technical and non-technical audiences. I have recently launched a blog dedicated to developers wishing to read articles around the latest and greatest tech. I also own a training business in London, United Kingdom, called Full Stack Training LTD. I am active on Twitter as well, so you can follow me there by searching for at T-P-I-R-O-S. With this course, you will master JavaScript's object-oriented programming features, including the ones provided by the ECMAScript 2015 specification. You will learn popular object-oriented programming principles and design patterns to build robust applications. Along with this, you will learn inheritance and create mixins. We will implement object-oriented concepts in a wild range of front-end architectures. Furthermore, we will also explore duck typing, an enhanced technique that allows us to define contracts between objects interacting with each other. And last but not least, we will take a look at managing asynchronous code in JavaScript and complete a variety of hands-on activities to help embed these newly acquired skills. This course has eight lessons. They are diving into objects and object-oriented programming principles. We'll discuss how to create and manage objects, talk about the basic principles of object-oriented programming, implement things like encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism, working with encapsulation and information hiding, where we'll talk about public and private class members, learn how to use getters and setters along with property descriptors, inheriting and creating mixins. In this lesson, we'll master prototypal inheritance, discuss method overrides, and implement protected members, defining contracts with duck typing. In here, we'll talk about dynamic data types and the usage of duck typing. Advanced object creation. In this lesson, we'll discuss how to implement software design patterns such as the singleton, factory, abstract factory, and the builder pattern. Working with data, where we'll learn how to implement user interfaces using some well-known presentational patterns such as MVC, MVP, and MVVM. Asynchronous programming and promises. In this lesson, we'll talk about callbacks and understand the drawbacks of using them, and we'll also explore using promises via ES2015. Organizing code. We will see how to use modular code via the CommonJS and AMD module resolution patterns along with ES2015 modules as well as see how to apply the namespace pattern. We will learn about each lesson in detail in the later slides.